A Paradise man is preserving memories of the ridge through a board game he created called Paradiseopoly. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis talked with the creator about how the game is giving back to the community. Seeing after the power came out yeah. beyond my expectations. After several years of hard work, Paradiseopoly is finally here and ready to take home. The creator, Tanner Staus, says the idea first came to him in February 2019, just months after the campfire. It's been a journey since then, one he says is still difficult to put into words. And even all of this, like all, all, all these people are coming to get their games and um, seeing the pallets full of products, seeing, like all, all these different milestones. Um, it's all still kind of surreal. I, I don't like. I don't really know when it's gonna fully set in. Paradiseopoly has already made its way into several stores here on the Ridge, including Ace Hardware, with 100% of the game's net profits going to wildfire recovery. Staus says the project was brought to life thanks to a Kickstarter campaign and other donations. And now Paradiseopoly will keep giving back to the Ridge, not just to nonprofit organizations, but to the heart of Paradise, its people. I think there was just a part of me that um, even if I really didn't understand it, I knew that this was something that the town needed. Just this weekend, hundreds of board games have been unwrapped. And some games even signed by Staus before they head home to Paradisians near and far. So I got two, one for me and one for my in-laws. Um, they are both born and raised here in Paradise. And um, she was actually one of the Gold Nugget Queen winners way back when. Um, so unfortunately, her dress did not survive the fire. Um, but it's just exciting that, you know, some of the Gold Nugget Days um, activities are all part of the game. Sperry Machuga says the game arrived just in time to play with her nieces and nephews for Christmas. She says the fact that Staus makes the game itself makes it even more special. It's something unique to us um, and to have, you know, somebody from here build it and it, it's just different. You know, it's more unique. It's, it's definitely much more special than just somebody else coming in and doing it. Dozens of people have already stopped by this weekend to pick up their board games, but between the pre-orders, what's being shipped, and what's being sold in stores, close to 3,000 games have already found their home. In Paradise, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Coverage you can count on. And Stoss will be at Ace Hardware, passing out games from 10 a.m. to 4.30 through Wednesday this week. You can also find a link to store selling Paradise Opoly on our website, Action News Now, under News Links.